Hello everyone, welcome back to another Knockdown C video, and today I'm here to show you how to install TeamSpeak for Windows and Mac. So for Mac, I'm gonna have to leave a little like thing description, like a timestamp that tells you where to go if you want to just skip to that part. So we're gonna start with Windows first, and before we do anything, we're gonna check your bit on your system, like what bit your system is, 32 or 64. So what you want to do is right click the Windows button and then click System right here. Then you want to go here under system type or like next to it and then see what bit your operating system is. Mine's 64 so I'm going to click 64 and just remember that for later. If yours is 32, which isn't likely, but if you have an old computer, it could possibly be, then keep that in mind. So then we exit out of that and now we want to um, open up our internet browser. So I chose Microsoft Edge, it doesn't matter what you choose. So now you want to type in on the like search bar above, teamspeak.com. Um, yeah, slash downloads. Then I'll redirect you to this page right here where you can download stuff like the client, server, and SDK. So now what you want to do is click the download button for one of these, whatever bit your operating system you have. So I have 64, I'm going to press that button. But since I already installed it, I'm just going to cancel that and then go into my downloads folder. So yeah, next thing you want to do is go into your downloads folder. And the way you do that is open up File Explorer, which I already did, but you can do that from here and then go in there. Then you want to find TeamSpeak 3 and hyphen client and then the rest of the stuff right there. And if you have a lot of downloads, you can just use search TeamSpeak 3 like that right there and you'll find it like that. So now what you want to do is double click this installer to run it and then click yes right there. And then you want to just wait for that. And now, let me notice that, you want to click next. And then once you get this thing, you'll notice how this is like grayed out and stuff. To like to like ungrade it out, you want to scroll through all that and then it'll just accept it and then press next. Now this is your choice. If you have multiple profiles and you want to install it on all the profiles, you can click install for everyone. But I have multiple profiles, but I don't want to install for everyone, so I'm just gonna click the second one. And then you click next. Then this is where you can adjust where you want to install your team speak to. I would just leave it how it is because no point in messing with it. And then just click next. Now you want to uh, hit recommend it for this one because why not it's just recommend one and saves time like that and then this is your choice you can choose to um, install overall if you want it's just an add-on for team speak and stuff but yeah I'm gonna choose to not install that and now you select install and then it is done after that you want to click finish and then you can uncheck this or check it I'm gonna check it because we're gonna load up team speak anyway so now that it's like loading up and stuff getting ready you will get this menu right here and then this pop-up will come up and then you want to just scroll through it again and then click I accept right there. And now you just want to choose a nickname you want to be identified on the TeamSpeak server. So I will choose uh, Riera Gaming because that is my username. And yeah, I'm just gonna make this bigger because it's small. There we go. So now you want to, if you're gonna connect to the server, you want to click this connections tab right here and then scroll down to connections right here click that and then you'll get this three boxes server address nickname and server password this nick nickname can always be changed so you don't have to worry about that too much and this more button you don't need to worry about either because that's you don't need to worry about that and server password for nocturne you do not need to worry about that because there is no server password but this is what you have to worry about so in this box delete that ip that's in there and replace it with this teamspeak.noxmmc.com and that will be in your address box right there. Then you gotta either press enter or press connect. So like that. And then it will connect to the server. Connected. Like that. And it'll just say connected in your ears and stuff. And then you can go to any of these channels. Well, not any, but like a few of these channels and just like hang out there. Permissions. As long as you have permissions. So yeah, and now if you want to set up your microphone for TeamSpeak and you want to talk to people and stuff, you want to hit this settings tab up here and then go down to options or you can press Alt P. Those both work. So once you're in options, you'll get this whole menu thing with a bunch of things. What you want to be worried about is capture. So you go to capture right there and then your capture mode. Uh, you don't need to adjust that right now. But your capture device, you want to adjust to be any of those. And I'm going to choose what I'm using right now, this microphone right here. Then there's three options to choose from, push to talk, continuous transmission, and voice activation detection. This one, you have to like uh, do this little, little testing thing right here. Right yeah, you can hear me right there. That was weird. You could just like hear that and then push to talk right there. You can assign a key. I choose Q because Q is a good hot, hot key. And then you press apply right there. And then it's done. 
So then what you want to do is nothing else because that's that's it. That's how you install it on Windows and that's how you do stuff. So you can you can channel switch. Yeah, you can join this channel and just like start talking like that. See when when this light is on, that means you're talking. All right, that's basically it for Windows. Now I'll be switching over to Mac. All right, guys, I am now on the Mac and I'm going to show you how to install TeamSpeak on the Mac. So the first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser and I'm going to choose Safari because that's the default one. And you want to go to the same page, teamspeak.com slash downloads right there. And then you will bring be re redirected to this page right here with the Windows download, OS X download, and the next download right there. Oh, and these things right there. What you want to be interested in is uh, OS X download right here. So you want to press download right there, but I already installed it. So just press the button and I wait for that to install. So then after that happens, you're going to want to go to your downloads and then hit the TeamSpeak uh, hyphen client Mac OS thing right there, that DMG. Then you want to accept this agreement thing, like press and agree. And then this will come up right here. So what you want to do is drag this to applications like that. And then I'll make that noise. And then you want to double click this right here. Then exit out of that. And that is it really for TeamSpeak right there. That's how you install it. And now to connect the server, you want to press connect. TeamSpeak.OptimeMC.com is server address. And then your nickname will be whatever you want it to be. Like it has spaces, it can be that, it can be username, whatever. But there is no server password, so you don't need to worry about that. Then you press connect right there. Then you'll say connect there like that. And then you will be on the server. And then to set up your microphone, you want to go to, what was it? That's what it was. You want to go to preferences or you can press command comma. And then you will bring, be redirected to like this whole menu thing. Then you want to press capture right there. And then you want to select your capture device and mine we built in microphone. Then you can choose push to talk continuous transmission or voice activation detection right there. I'm going to choose push to talk because it's the best for me. Then you press OK and then that will be that. Then you can start talking once you're in a channel that you can talk in like that. And then once this is like blue you can you can see that you're talking. And that's basically it for installing TeamSpeak on Mac. And then you to quit TeamSpeak. Either press command Q or you go to TeamSpeak up here and then press quit. And that's it for installing TeamSpeak on the Mac. Alright, thanks for watching guys and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.